Damien, what's your thoughts on the next Spider-Man movie? Who, uh, who would you like to see as a villain? Is maybe a Scorpion story? You know, you know I think there's a I, Spider-Man expert right here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So if I were to write Spider-Man four, I'd want to tie up some loose ends, and one of those is to bring back Scorpion and Vulture from the Morb verse. So at the end of Morbius, Vulture ended up in Morbius's world, and he morbed out. And Spider-Verse actually explained that when all those villains kept getting sucked through timelines and ended up in different universes than they should have been. Like how we saw a medieval Vulture in um, Gwen Stacy's timeline. So that's why Vulture was in Morbius's world. And I think what I would like to see is like Spider-Man, he's got his um, he's got his No Way Home final swing suit once again. You know, just not He's trying to get back with his friends, like Ned and MJ, just trying to explain to them everything that happened. By the end of the movie, they'll be completely up to speed. I think that's one of the things they really need to fix. And he's also going to have to talk to Happy and let him know. Happy will help him design a new suit, because remember, his, um, his Far From Home suit was made in Happy's jet, which they still have. So that's how he'll make a new suit for the end of the movie. And Scorpion is going to be the main villain. He'll have had, like, a new suit. And I think it might be nice to have this movie kind of be, like, on the ground. Like, maybe even having, like, Kingpin be hiring a bunch of villains to go after Spider-Man. Like, maybe Scorpion is one of the villains he hires. I saw one of these theories online, which I agree with. That was my original theory. And, like, Okay. Scorpion will be the main villain, but they can't kill him off. They have to save him from the Sinister Six. And then at the end, like the end credit scene, we see Kingpin talking to Rhino and Vulture. And then for the mid credit, Daredevil shows up in his um his non condiment suit. Like Daredevil and She Hulk show up in New York City and they're talking to Peter and Peter's like, So what do you want me to do? And they're like, that man you fought? That was Kingpin. He's a villain of ours. And then, like, Kate Bishop and Echo show up, and then, like, uh, it's over. Did you write the first draft of the screenplay? Like, what is, where is all this coming from? My head. Had time to I just of thought of this. Oh, my. wow. Okay. So, so who's the villain? You said the main villain would be Scorpion? Yeah. Okay. That's what you predict. And then at the end, you know what? Shocker. I'll throw Shocker in there. Okay. So, like, to have, to have, What's him call this man? Um, Kingpin talking to Shocker, Rhino, and Vulture, starting to recruit them for the Sinister Six. And one thing I'm realizing, we don't have a Green Goblin or a Doc Ock in this universe. So I feel like they might be set up in, like, Spider-Man 5, and then unironically, Spider-Man 6 would be the one where the Sinister Six shows up. Wow. Okay. And also even having Miles in it, like Miles Morales. Yeah. I feel like that would be really nice. Oh yeah, it, we got to see Miles eventually. Mm -hmm. on the yeah, big, we got to have yeah, him in the big screen. In, in the big screen. Yeah, and yeah. then you know, Miles and Peter in Spider-Man Six will be teaming up to oh, fight my. the Sinister Six. And Miles will have already had experience with this because he's been in Earth Forty Two, and in Earth Forty Two, there's a Sinister Six, like the Sinister Six criminal syndicate in that world. That Prowler Miles is. I don't know what his ties are to them. I don't know if he's opposing it or if he's with them or if he's like, you know, kind of a median, like if he's neutral to them. I don't know, but by then, um, a, Beyond the Spider-Verse will have come out, so that Miles will have had experience, and he'll be with Gwen's team, you know, um, when she assembled Hobby and Peter B and Spider Bite and um, Paviter, and they're going to find Miles. So I think that would be really nice if he's with them and he's talking to Peter like, there's a there's a multiverse of us spiders out there, like stuff like that. Because phases four, five, and six are labeled the multiverse saga, and I think that Spider Man six should come out in phase six. So like that would be twenty twenty seven, I'd say. Like that's assuming that. Spider-Man 4 comes out now, Spider-Man 5 in 2025, and Spider-Man 6 in 2026, and then, you know, I'm also thinking 
maybe not to see Gwen in this movie, or maybe if we do, it'll be like a friendship between them, because in both worlds, they've lost each other. Like, Gwen's Peter is dead, and then Peter's Gwen is dead. So just seeing the two of them on screen and their chemistry, like knowing that the two of them are all right, just seeing each other's faces again, and just being friends. Like, I'm glad you're okay. And each just kind of be back, like like to just say, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry I couldn't save you in my world. And then Miles is just kind of the comic relief, not to break up that moment, but to just kind of bring us back from sadness and be like kind of the person who is not exactly the lead, but he's like the co-lead. Like they're all each leading their own parts of the movie. So everybody's a co-lead of each other. Not like to have Peter overshadow Miles and Gwen, or Gwen overshadow Miles and Peter, or Miles overshadow Gwen and Peter. Like, to just have each other work off of each other, and just the chemistry of each other. The phone is ringing. I think Tom Holland's on the other one. Sony, if you're listening, there you go. You got your first yeah. draft. So, Sony, uh, I would not mind writing a script for you guys. <laughs> like, I would, actually, I would actually love to. You you can tell me if you're like interested in what I write for you, or if you want me to change anything. But I'll, I'll be there. All right. This I'll is... take I'll take Into the Spider Verse one step fo- further. Instead of instead of animating it, I'll write it. Yeah, there's a Zoom call coming in from Zendaya right now. So ah uh, yeah, uh, we'll, 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 hold on, hold. we'll be back in one minute. Okay. Yeah. Well. well yeah. So uh, this is fantastic. I look. Wow. I okay. To be continued, all right? So we will yeah. talk more you know about... I think we'll make yeah. an episode on our chronologic should. theories of the um, next Tom Holland trilogy. I and think one more thing, they got to drop the home. Drop the home? Yeah, like however movies, homecoming, far from home, 